Hello everyone, my name is Medha Gongopadhyay and I am an MS student at Aizar Thiruvananthapura. Today, I would like to share with you the application process which was followed at Aizar Thiruvananthapuram last time and how I got admission here and about the interview and what are the points which are important and which we should keep in mind during the interview process. So, Aiza Thiruvananthapuram was the first institute to start an MS program last year because uh, previously there was only integrated PhD at Aizars. So, this was a new opportunity and I opted for it. Last time, we were uh, not asked to tell about our JAM score at all. There was first a written examination, a proctored one from home and then an interview and that is how we got selected. First of all, about the proctored examination. Actually, the COVID was at peak, so it was one held at home. There were uh, around 60 questions, just like JAM, there was a virtual calculator given. The uh, procedure was similar to JAM only. There were two sets of questions, section A and section B. Section A questions were of one mark each and they did not have a negative marking. But section B was of two mark each and there was negative marking of half marks. So, I mainly aimed to do the section A very well and not to leave any question there because there was no negative marking. So that is how I prepared myself. There were three hours so I spaced the questions out. Mostly the questions were how to solve them. It was not memory based. Mostly the questions were a bit physical chemistry biased. There were some mathematical questions also. So basic mathematical concepts were also uh, asked there. Even for inorganic, uh, the CFSC calculations, all these were important. And spectroscopy played a major uh, role in the exam. Many questions were there from NMR, IR, UV, everything. Uh, NMR basically uh, we had to tell about the uh, proton NMR and it was extensively asked. So this was the proctored examination. After this was held, the results were out and around 70 students were selected for the interview process. Now about the interview process. This was held from home. and. We were asked to keep an A4 paper ready and a government ID card. This was how we prepared ourselves for the interview. We had to make sure that there, our internet connection was very stable and there was no fluctuation during the exam. But they were considerate about it and they were very friendly, the interviewers, and they helped us a lot. But what they were looking for was how confident we were and how we approached the question. The first thing they told us was, we are not looking for a correct answer. We are just looking for the way in which you answer. If your approach is scientific, that is what we are asking for. They made us feel at ease. And then they asked us that out of the three chemistry uh, uh, branches, which I wanted to answer first. So this is a very tricky part. You have to select the one in which you are most confident. I like inorganic chemistry. So I told that I'll uh, answer inorganic first. The first few questions are the first impression that you make. So the selection of which branch you want to answer first is very important. I said that I'll answer inorganic, then physical, then organic. The interview went on for like 35 to 40 minutes. In inorganic, coordination and organometallics was the most important for them. Some of the points are like um, CFSE. Uh, then uh, uh, substitution reactions, uh, electron transfer reactions for coordination. Isomerism was important. They asked us to uh, write some structures and show them uh, in the camera how we are drawing the structures. Hydration energy, lattice energy, graphs, all those were important. One part which mostly we overlooked, the Tanabe Sugano diagram, that was asked. So it's better not to skip any part. So Tanabe Sugano was asked and from organometallics 18 electron rule how to uh, draw clusters and then how to find the electron count of clusters and metal metal bond all those were given emphasis on. So this is how inorganic portion was held. Next comes physical. In physical chemistry they mainly emphasized on thermodynamics and kinetics. Uh, uh, they asked us about chemical potential. 
uh, in chemical potential they asked me to draw the diagram to define it and then uh, elevation of boiling point lowering uh, of um, freezing point those were asked I had to draw the graph and show them then they were asked a few questions on Arrhenius theory then uh, uh, thermodynamical concepts one or two about equilibrium they asked me to write the formula and show them on camera these were asked very basic preliminary questions and if you are clear about the concept it is very easy to answer them and if you are hesitant you can't understand the question you can ask them again and they'll very uh, fluent they'll very easily tell you how to answer and they'll guide you how to answer so there's nothing to worry about very much in that then in organic they asked us they gave they showed us some slides and in the slides there were some uh, reagents given and i had to draw the products those were asked like so here reagents name reactions are important to remember because they can ask questions from that and from nmr also they asked some questions like uh, the definitions what is chemical shift and all that then after that uh, uh, stereochemistry they asked some questions on stereochemistry they showed a compound then they asked rs nomenclature for that and all that not only this from bio inorganic and biochemistry also I was asked questions. So it's better not to skip these parts too. In bio inorganic chemistry, I was asked about the binding mode of oxygen in hemoglobin, hemoerythrin, hemocyanin. I was asked to draw one or two structures also. What is Bohr effect? Uh, then why the curve is sigmoidal for hemoglobin? Why hyperbolic for myoglobin? All these questions were extensively asked. And for biochemistry, I was asked about uh, the structures of amino acids uh, then carbohydrates what are epimers what are anomers to give some examples so these are the basic questions that were asked so after the interview was held uh, they uh, to, uh, gave out the results and 18 of us were selected from them and Aiza Thiruvananthapuram is a great institute I have been enjoying my stay here it's a very research oriented institute we are uh, been doing uh, labs and research work very extensively so i would urge you all to take this opportunity ms program has been started in all the isers so please go and apply and don't worry about the interview process very much because all the interviews are uh, interviewers are very friendly but what you have to remember is that you have to be confident and just try to attempt the question. Doesn't matter if you are right, completely right. And please make sure that uh, whichever subject you are choosing first, you are very fluent in that. Whatever question they ask you, you will be able to answer because the first impressions are the, are the ones that matter. Even if one branch goes a little bit weak, like I did not do the organic very well, that doesn't matter because the other two you had to make up. And... Uh, so this is how uh, the interview is uh, held and I wish you all the very best. Give your very best and stay calm and don't worry too much. Just and practice uh, how to uh, give answers and uh, to study in depth because in JAM and all the competitive exams we have been doing MCQ so much that we have forgotten how to study in depth a subject very much. So graphs, plots, formulas and the concepts behind every graph why we are using this formula these are the ones questions which are very important so i wish you all the very best and take care thank you